Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you seriously, seriously, serious? What is going on in America? America on the brink. Are you serious? I am very serious and it's very concerning. I'm live here in Boise, Idaho at the Hear the Watchman Conference and just heard a tremendous message from the Messianic Rabbi, um, uh, Rabbi Zev Parat from Israel. Just a powerful message. And then this morning, Scotty Clark did a phenomenal job explaining Revelation chapter 12 that's coming up on September the 23rd, the constellational alignment. Well, anyway, let me just tell you what's going on across America. Uh, just to, And last night, if you were watching live uh, on Hear the Watchman, I preached a message. It was a packed, packed room, standing room only. And people came forward. Uh, it was a mighty move of God. There was a rock band playing behind us in a in a <laughs> in the room behind us, and we drowned them out. We drowned them out with the power of God just came. Anyway, many people were saved. There were 17 people saved in the meeting, and uh, I don't know how many people came forward. And we baptized 50 people this morning. 50 uh, in the pool. So what a what a conference we're having. I mean, it's just been incredible. But let me get to the. Here's the story. We have a situation right now, folks that is out of control, America on the brink. First of all, six police officers shot last uh, Friday night, shot Friday night, two of them dead, okay? And you have uh, uh, thousands, and I mean thousands of people, 15,000 showed up in Boston yesterday to shut down a small free speech rally. I mean, it, why would you be against free speech? This wasn't this wasn't white supremacists. This wasn't KKK. This wasn't, you know, white nationalists. These were just people who believe in the Constitution, just believe in free speech. They weren't even uh, there to rally around a statue. They were just wanting to have free speech. And 15,000 people being organized by George Soros came and just completely disrupted it, and they had to just shut it down and leave, 15,000 to 50. Today, we have thousands of people in New Orleans protesting against white supremacy. Now, the thing about white supremacy, uh, KKK or uh, uh, white supremacists or uh, neo-Nazis, we're talking about less than 0.0001% of the population. I mean, there's nobody, and we all know it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, so this isn't about that. What you had today in New Orleans were chants of no Trump, no Trump, down with Trump, impeach Trump, Trump must go. Also, they were chanting no KKK and no fascist USA. I agree, no, no KKK, no fascist USA, but also I must say, but no black power, no black Panthers, and no black nationalists. You can't have Either one, they're both extremists. And that's all I think Trump was trying to say is you, there's extremism on both sides. Neither one are good. But that's not what the media is pushing. That is a stage. They're staging the events. George Soros is paying this to happen, folks. And it's getting out of hand and it's getting dangerous. And this is not what God wanted to have happen to this country. This is not what should be going on. This is a very dangerous situation. They gathered in the French quarters. Um, uh, they were marching in the Congo Square. They were in the Jackson Square uh, down in New Orleans. So in New Orleans, in Boston, in Charlottesville, and uh, I'm sure that by next weekend, George Soros will be organizing it. Now, you notice they started out with the women organizing on, on the inauguration. And then you had a few more, but now they're bringing in the hate groups and the hate groups are coming with billy clubs. They call them counter terror, uh, counter protesters, but really they are the hate groups and many of them are coming to disrupt and to cause violence and chaos in the land. And it's, it's dangerous. And as Christians, we need to pray. We really do need to pray for this country because it is on the brink. And I'm telling you, it's on the brink. You need to listen to me. The beast is angry. The beast is rising up. The beast is coming from every direction. 
There is no racism in the body of Christ. There never has been. There never will be. Not in the bride. The bride is not involved in this. But this country is in trouble. And if this country is in trouble, this world's in trouble. And when the beast in Revelation chapter 12, if you look at the signs in the heavens, they not only tell you about the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and her stars, the 12 stars and her crown, and she gives birth to the man child. But it also tells you, and I saw another wonder, and that is the red dragon who wants to devour the man child or devour the body of Christ. That's what he wants to do. And he will make war with the saints. It's all through the revelation. So we're witnessing, the, and, we're, and we're having an eclipse tomorrow, which is, is a decision time for America, a repentance needed in America. And I'm not saying every person in America needs to repent, but I'm saying there's some folks that definitely need to. And we have corruption and wickedness. The beast is trying to take over. Uh, the new world order is trying to destroy. And so, folks, this thing is out of control, and, and we need to pray, pray, and pray, and intercede. And I need some intercessory uh, prayer warriors out there who are praying for this nation and praying for the world and because America, my God, it, this... this uh, this total solar eclipse that's going across the country is going to go across seven Salem's, seven Salem's across the nation. The, the, and Salem, of course, meaning Jerusalem. And uh, it's judgment upon America, or at least the decision time is here. And you can see that. You would have to be spiritually inept, spiritually blind to not see the evil that's rising right now among our people. The sleeper cells that have been planted, the Trojan horse doctrine, the Saul Lewinsky, the rules for radicals, the radical, the radicals who are trying to destroy democracy, destroy history, trying to destroy freedom among the people. We don't need this. And so pray one for another, please. Pray one for another. I plead the blood of Jesus over your families, over your homes. I plead the blood of Jesus over your families, over your homes. We're being attacked on every side. Freedom of speech is being attacked, folks. We're being attacked. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. I will be live 7 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday night live right here, live from Boise, Idaho. I'll be back with more in just a moment. Time is running out, folks. It's absolutely running out.